What's up guys, this is Ronnie. Welcome back to our channel Total Technology Zone and today's topic will be how to load JSON documents using LangChain document, uh, sorry, using LangChain JSON loader, okay. So, uh, if you guys remember in, in, in the last three or four tutorial, we have started working on the LangChain document loader. So, within uh, LangChain document loader, we have multiple loaders. So, we have actually discussed on text loader, HTML loader, then probably Python loader, uh, uh, CSP loader right directory loader so in this tutorial I'll be going to talk about JSON loader so basically with the name it's very simple that we are actually going to work on a JSON file okay so let me actually uh, go ahead to the next slide so basically what is JSON loader so basically it will uh, help us to load JSON documents so uh, JavaScript object notion is an open standard file format for data interchange format that uses human readable text to store and transmit data objects consisting of attribute and value pairs or array or serializable values means it's a it's a combination of key value pairs so if you are already familiar a little bit of data structure or data types um, from any programming language then probably you know what is json right so json lines is a file format where each line is a valid json value so basically we'll be going to work on a json line so it's a file format where each line is a valid json means this will be a json file and every line will be a json okay and the json loader uses a specific jq schema to parse the json file it if you uses the jq python package so basically if you are not having uh python uh, package jq install on your system it will not work so ultimately this J json loader will use this jq module from python to actually parse and get the value or extract the value out of it okay so this is the ultimate objective so we'll be going to use a json loader and internally it will use uh, jq from the python package so if you do not have jq in your system then probably it will not work okay so without wasting much time let me open my this thing VS code so I have a file this is sample JSON and I have actually uh, like three lines okay uh, let me actually write from langchain dot langchain dot document loaders import JSON loader okay now what we'll do we'll write loader equals to json loader and like this and basically uh, it is kind of having this many arguments so file will be file path right or path so means i can write file path and then i'll be going to just write down the file name so it will be sample dot json okay and first i'll do the mistake i'll show you the mistake and after that i'll fix the mistake so let's execute this thing so it is saying that one required positional argument jq schema is missing so jq schema means you have to tell it what exactly you want to get so basically i want everything right so maybe i can just simply write something like this okay okay let's see it is working or not it's working so now what we'll do we'll do docs equals to loader dot load okay let's see whether this is working or not yeah um it is what it is saying uh it is saying uh there is a problem here so basically um we need to actually uh add something so it is saying what uh extra data just hold on uh read text line docs python in decode mm, json decoder json decoder or extra data line okay so it is saying that there is an extra data a line two okay let me actually um, so basically i'm actually uh, looking json lines so basically i think 
I have to add this JSON lines should be true. Okay, let's see. Yes, so it is saying that uh, you need to actually add something else as well. So basically, text content. Just hold on. Maybe this will be false. Let's see. Yes, now it's working. So basically, I need to mention I'm reading actually JSON line and my text content is not uh, false like that way. I have to do. Now, what I'll do, I'll just write print docs. Yes, so if you see, uh, I got something here. Uh, here, father, John, mother, and children, this, right? So let me check whether it is giving me exact thing or not. So father mark, it start with father mark like this, see? Okay, so now what will happen? Same thing is here. So, so I just need the father from everywhere. So how to actually this will happen? So maybe uh, just see whether I'm actually able to do it or not. So basically content key. So maybe I can just write content. Let me check. So it will be a string. So maybe, um, maybe I don't know like whether it will work or not. Let's see. Yes, so see it is only giving me the father. John came. Right. Uh, first it will came Mark, John. Only fathers are coming. Okay. So basically uh, if I just do for doc in docs print doc okay so hopefully it will only going to give me the fathers yes so basically i need to actually write dot e a g e underscore c o n t e n t content Uh, okay, so basically it is saying that list object does not have this attribute. So just hold on. So let me check why this is not giving me this thing. Okay, so if a list actually. Um, so the single list, so maybe I can just write something like this to understand whether everything is giving me properly so just hold on just separate i'm using in separate to understand okay so this is the entire value so this is a value of list so within the list basically i can simply write this okay and uh, let's see yes so now yes now this will work so see I'm only getting this thing because always it is coming from the first element zero. So always it is printing this thing. So basically what will happen? So mm, okay. So there is something I don't know why always it is printing this thing so so print only only it is printing one father i don't know why so let me check okay here it is mark then it is john okay so basically this is the entire list within the list we have multiple things so basically maybe uh, this entire list try to understand okay so let me check how many documents are there okay so let me check the length of the document first okay
it says three means total four items are there okay so maybe i can simply write four dog in dogs print dog right yes so now if you see here mark is coming john is coming bob is coming right okay so now what will happen page content yes now it is giving me everything right so if you don't want to actually do this thing here let's say i don't want this thing okay like this so it is going to give me the json thing back again right okay so this is very straightforward i don't think it will require much of an explanation so if your requirement is actually to read a json file you can easily do that using um, json loader right and another thing like um, you can actually load this thing using a directory loader but again in the loader class you have to actually mention it's a json loader or else what will happen this will take some time to parsing and parsing is very much important whenever you are actually working on loading uh, some specific data and if your requirement is actually to build an efficient uh, application right because ultimately your scalability and your performance and your efficiency i mean your efficiency means the application's efficiency will be tested before your client or whoever is actually uh, going to give you the task uh, uh, before they put something in the deployment environment or in the production they will try to actually test the system and that is what it is happening here okay okay so that's it guys i think i should conclude the video over here and um, we'll start again from another uh, topic from the next video but before i actually conclude this tutorial i would like to request you guys on few points um, first i start with um, the practice and the recommendation how to actually practice this thing because this is the 26th tutorial and if someone is actually very new to our channel or watching our videos for the first time so guys this is an uh, this is a recommendation that please uh, go to our channel search for this langchain complete tutorial playlist and try to watch the entire series from the beginning because this is a 26 tutorial and before that we have already uh, posted 25 tutorials so if you are planning to actually do something in the area of uh, artificial intelligence language or language model then probably this tutorial is going to help you to develop your basic foundation and intermediates as well because if you see here we are actually working on the intermediate part and before that we already work on the basic and fundamental parts as well so those uh, tutorials are uh, definitely going to help you to build your foundation next thing uh, guys please subscribe to our channel if you are watching for the first time then also try to subscribe with our channel and if if someone is already watching our series but uh, did not subscribe yet please 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 it's a request please try to subscribe to our channel hit the like button and also hit the bell notification so you should not miss any notification from our future updates and try to share our videos with your family and friends whoever you think will get some benefit out of it and also try to encourage them to subscribe to our channel because your one subscription is actually going to help us to grow slowly and we really want to grow faster and that is why we are looking for like uh, we, are, we, are, we are trying to actually uh, reach larger audience base and larger audience base will help you um, to grow in the future and i will require all of your help and support to reach our target okay and last but not least uh, try to put some comment good or bad doesn't matter if you really find something useful in our video or if these videos are actually helping you to develop something in your um, current uh, like project or you are working on some assignment please let us know by some sort of feedback some sort of feedback and also if you think something is missing in our video and something could be done in a better way or if you have any use case which you want me to include in our video just try to share with us i will try to actually incorporate all these changes in the next video okay so enough of talking guys i will uh, see you in the next video till then take care goodbye and have a nice day